What we have here today is what I believe to be a Leslie Locke Saratoga, or better known as the Evergo Banana Fan. This one here is from around the early 1980s. It is a variable speed, now non-reversible fan, downdraft only. This is, of course, another one of my revisit with commentary videos. Since my original one done around two and a half years ago had no commentary. This is another one of my, as I call them, dumpster fire fans. This one here is in pretty poor condition. Factory finish was wrinkled white. As you can see, it has been repainted over a time or two in the past. You can see they did a pretty sloppy job at that. and Definitely didn't look like that coming from the factory. Blades look like they've been repainted as well. They need to be stripped and refinished. But the Evergo Banana Fan was Evergo's answer to the Hunter original. I believe these were introduced around 1980. And they lasted up until around the mid 80s, mid to late 80s, if I were to guess. Coming on top here, we got a plastic two piece canopy, sharing the same looks as a Hunter original canopy. It uses the same double claw mount with the bushing as the original. Motor in this fan is a shaded pole pancake motor, very similar to, of course, what the originals used. The only thing different about this motor is that it's not oil bath. I believe the earliest banana fans were oil bath. However, this one is ball bearing. On the bottom of the switch housing there, you'll see the variable speed knob, which I added myself. The original system was what's called a variable speed pull chain. If you look in there, you'll notice that there's two holes coming through. So basically you use one long length of chain and it wrapped around a wheel within the switch housing, which turned the rheostat. I believe what happened here was that the original owner opted to use them on a wall control. So they either took the rheostat off out of the fan switch housing and mounted it within the wall, or they just bought a separate control and just threw them through the original rheostat controls away and just hot wired them straight to high. Blades on the fan are very odd looking. That's why I'm kind of thinking it's a Leslie Locke product because Leslie Locke had a thing for these odd shaped blades. Blade pitch is around 14, 15 degrees. Beside the canopy, I believe everything you see on the fan except for the blades is cast aluminum. Cast aluminum motor housing, faceplate, blade iron, switch housing, the whole nine yards. On top of the motor here, nothing really too much to see. You got the motor lead wires going to the motor there. And I believe that's what's left of the tag on the top, which has either been painted over or just worn away completely. So let's go ahead and see what this thing does. So we'll turn it down. I need to adjust it to get it going. I still want to stall. Yeah, I have yet to adjust the trim pot so this thing actually takes off on its slowest setting. I think this motor draws somewhere in the ballpark of two amps. I haven't really measured it with a meter yet, but it is a shaded pole motor. These did later become electrically reversible, I believe, as well, with the pancake motor, and then the latest ones had spinner motors in them. The variable speed pull chain was done away with, and a variable speed knob located on the switch housing, like typically seen on other fans was added later prior to their discontinuation so the low speed here pretty aesthetic as you would have guessed it does make a buzz i think it's a typical characteristic of these shaded pole motor with a rio stat dial this one up about a quarter of a turn This fan does wobble. 
Either blades are warped or the brackets are not in true alignment. Once again, dumpster fire fan. I do have a second motor, one blade, one extra blade bracket, and one or two extra blades from a second fan. Got these from a fellow collector from Fanimation. So that's pretty much just parts fodder, and the rest of the blade irons were snapped completely off. So doesn't seem like these fans are well taken care of. I'll take it up to high. High speed looks like we're doing around 190 RPM with the 15 degree blade pitch and these obnoxiously weird blades. It moves a pretty good sum of air. It's a pretty powerful fan. I don't think it's as powerful as the original, but pretty close. So I'm sure with the way the blades being out of whack like they are probably hindered its performance a little bit as well. Gotta let it coast, shut it off. And that's pretty much all I got. So I'm not sure when I'll get around to ever repainting this fan. It definitely needs a repaint. And when that happens, I don't know in what color I'd paint it because either I'm going to repaint it back to its factory wrinkled white color or may go with a different color scheme altogether. So we'll see what I figure out in the future. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video on this 52 inch white Evergo banana fan or what I believe to be a Leslie Lock Saratoga from the early 1980s. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay cool. Take care. Peace.